Hello everyone, in my today's video I will be talking or actually I'm going to be showing you how to convert this um, Sonic Basic uh, to be a relay, uh, to be its relay um, isolated in dry contact and also what I will be showing you that as you can see here it says the power supply is 100 to 40 volt that's an AC and actually I'm gonna convert this one to be a 5 volt so you can uh, power it on with the 5 volt and then you, you do the relay as a dry contact and then you can uh, program it with the original uh, software that comes with it which is the e-relay right uh, so let's open this one and I'll talk a little bit about it So here what we have. If you have this version with the wires, because I think they have two versions, the one with the wires and one with the traces here on the side. So in in my in my video today I'll be talking about this version that has a wires in here. And again, this is a son of basic Wi-Fi smart switch, right? Alright. So the first thing I'm going to do is I will be cutting this wire right here completely and then I'll cut this one completely and then from here I will be cutting this trace completely and then remove this is kind of like a resistor or a fuse something like that uh, I'm gonna remove it completely from here and then again I'll be cutting this traces right and then connect the ground do you see that ground in here this ground I don't know if you guys can see it the ground to one of these terminals so we can uh, reuse this terminal as our 5 volt in input and then we have this relay leg this is the 5 volt ray, uh, leg right and we will connect this one to another uh, terminal okay and what and another thing is we gonna get since we get rid of this cable uh, of this um, this trace here we're gonna connect this other leg which is I think it's a normal open uh, leg of the relay to this terminal here and now we have a dry contact so I'm gonna pause this video I'll do my modification and I will show you step by step what I've been doing all right I'll be back here we come back so now what I have done is the first thing I removed this second wire if you can see here I have moved this completely let me get my screwdriver this one got removed from here completely and I so you can see that resistor or the fuse it got removed completely too and this is trace it got completely cut you see and make sure when you cut it you cut it from both sides like literally because this trace is it's from here and from here so make sure you completely cut it all right so with that I am going to be doing the wiring again the ground is gonna go to this terminal right here or actually the ground is gonna go to this terminal right here and and the uh, the 5 volt which is this one right here this one is gonna be connected to this to the other terminal and then I'll connect the leg of the relay the second one to this terminal here and then we're gonna do the testing and then adding to the e-willing software and then we will um, uh, see how it's working uh, let me go ahead and solder these wires show, show them to you guys and then we'll uh, talk about it alright 
All right, here we are back again. So what I have done again? I told you guys I cut the traces, and do you see this is the leg. That's for the relay leg, right? This is a five volt positive, and if you can see, I have connected to this terminal, and I have put the uh, the other leg of the relay, which is this one right here. Get this which is this one right here and this one got connected to this so now what do we have we have a normal common or, or normal open and common right on this side and this is a dry um a dry contact of the relay and what i have done on this one again because this one is a shared this one between the the leg and so basically we have only three wires and one trace that need to be cut that need to be cut right and then oh uh, yeah again this is the where's that where is that it's right here you see that the ground the brown wire it's right here the ground wire is being connected to this terminal here so now i have a positive and negative correct and i have this terminal goes all, all the way to this terminal and i have this original which i left it there right and now it's kind of ready uh, for us to be powered on and program it and if you can see here I have a power supply uh, it's rated output 5 volt and 2 amps there we go it's connected right and I'm gonna go ahead and connect it now and uh, test the voltage on it and then uh, go ahead and program it with you let me go ahead and do that right now as you can see now see how beautiful is it it's um flashing that means it's um trying to connect but it's not in a programming mode yet uh so i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and test the voltage in here show you what i'm getting i'm getting that guy here if i can hold it that's what i'm getting 5.40 that's the voltage i'm getting an input right and now this one is done So the first thing you need to program this one, you press this one and hold it. All right, let's do it again until you see the light is changing its uh, flashing. Let's see, here you go. You see? And now I got my phone in here, right? And then I'll say whichever room you have, you can add, and then I'll go with the add. Quick pairing and you put your Wi-Fi make sure you have uh, 2.4 G Wi-Fi credentials and now it's looking for devices we'll give it a couple seconds looking for devices sometimes it doesn't pick it up from the first time sometimes it does so we'll wait so as you as you as you know I don't know if you guys know or not uh, this one has a uh, two different programming mode uh, the one it's like an auto program like discovery and then the other one is it creates its own Wi-Fi uh, access points and then you connect to it and then you hook it up with your uh, home Wi-Fi or whatever Wi-Fi so yeah looks like it's here we go it got it and now it's trying to get the information from that one registering blah 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 testing and then I'm gonna put it on the living room and then done and now I have it here and as you can see and I have a software update but for that and go ahead you hear the click okay and also I'll make sure from the my dry contact so I have this one and I'll put it on continuity so the way this one works if i touch them you hear it's beeping so i'm gonna put them in here turn it on 
Is it speeding? Off. It's not. Yep, so that's all what I have for uh, today's video. I hope you guys uh, like it. Um, uh, please consider subscribing my channel uh, for more videos like this. I know it's been a long time since I posted a new video. Uh, I'll be doing, doing a lot of videos. Uh, please subscribe and, and uh, support my channel. And uh, see you in the next video. Have a good day.